Hi there. Today I'll show you how you can create your machine learning models in just 5 minutes. And then you will be able to integrate your machine learning models in your Android application. So let's talk about its prerequisites. So there are two points in prerequisites. The so first point is you just have an Android Studio downloaded in your Windows operating system or any operating system. For downloading Android Studio, you just need to go to developers.android.com slash studio and you will be able to see download Android Studio option. So you just need to download this IDE and then you have to install it like other software you do. It will take some of your time and then you are good to go. And the second point is that there is no prior knowledge of ML is required. But yes, to scale up this machine learning model in future, you just need to have a good knowledge of that. So let's quickly see the demo first. We will talk about the development part later. So you can see over here that it is predicting tomatoes, bananas and lemons accordingly. As you can see over here that I have divided this process uh, of developing Android application based on machine learning into four categories. First step is data collection. So we will be collecting our data in the form of images. So you can see over here that I have collected all the images of potatoes, lemon and bananas through my mobile camera. You can see over here that I have make a three subfolder of banana, lemon, tomatoes inside wedge folder. Okay. So you can see I have bananas images. Okay. Then I have some lemon images also and then I have some tomatoes images, right? So if I have to give one word to uh, all this process, we will say that it's a data collection process, right? And here I have manually clicked the photos using my mobile camera, right? The second step is mobile training using teachable machine learning by Google. Okay, so teachable machine learning is basically a platform which is provided by Google and idea is to create a machine learning models in very easy steps. There is no knowledge requirement for this particular uh, portal. You just need to provide your data. So you what you will do, you will just collect the data and you will provide all the data to the teachable machine learning platform. So machine learning model will uh, do the training on the data which you have provided it. After provide it will take some time. Uh, it will do some training part. Okay. Then after that, it will go to the third step. You can see over here that after completing the training part, you will be able to see that the third step is export model or download it to the local system. So you just need to download that particular model which you have trained on your data, right? So you have to download that and keep it in your local system, right? And then the final step is to integrate that particular model into your Android application. We will be using TensorFlow Android application project over here. So we will do some changes uh, according to the uh, according to our need and then uh, our application is ready. So let's quickly jump to the browser. And I'm assuming that you have already downloaded your Android Studio, right? So now you have to go to the teachable machine learning Okay, so this is uh, this is the URL teachable machine dot with Google dot com. It is provided by Google, right? Okay, so you can see over here that it, it's a fast and easy way to create machine learning models for your sites application or many more, right? No expertise and coding is required. Clearly mentioned over here. But yeah, in future, if you have to scale up your application, then you should know about machine learning and deep learning process, right? All right. So you can you just need to uh, click on uh, get started button and you will land it over here, right? So you can see there are three options available over here. We will be solving image classification problem here. Okay, so you just need to click over here. So now you will be able to see that these options like class one, class two and add classes. So we have three classes. So we have added three classes, right? Okay, so now let's go to the uh, where you have collected your data. Okay, so here are my data. So you just need to drag and drop this particular folder, which has all the photos of bananas over here in the class one. It will take some time to upload all the images. Okay. And you just need to change the class one name, make it to bananas or whatever, uh, depending on your implementation. Then for the second, you just need to press upload and then lemon upload all the images of lemon. Okay. And just change the class name name to lemon. According to your implementation, it can be any. All right. So now in third class, we have tomatoes. Just drag and drop over here. And then uh, you have to change the tomatoes, uh, the name of a model over here, right? Tomatoes. All right. After uploading all the images, we have second option or second step is training, right? So you just need to 
click over here and it will take some time after completion of the training and what basically training is doing uh, like your model is learning from your data which you have provided to it right so model is learning that what is banana what is lemon look like what is uh, tomatoes look like right and it is taking some time and it will be completed after some time right there is another option over here you can see that export model right so you just need to click on export model option okay and then you will be able to see that uh, export model uh, to use it in your projects right so we are developing android application so you just need to go to tensorflow light option and select floating point and then download my model option right you just need to click over here okay and then you have to click on quantized okay so it will take some uh, it will take some time floating point will take some time right? uh, let it do uh, the converting of the model in the cloud right and meanwhile you just need to go to the github account over here right just click on github so you will be able to see that uh, this is your github and you just need to download all this code okay and i'll be uh, putting all the all this code in my github profile uh, also uh, which is the simplest one like uh, there are a lot of other projects uh, of tensorflow light uh, over here which is no use of yours right so i'll be putting uh, only the android application in my github profile in the description box you can go over here right so you just need to do one thing uh, like after uh, clicking over here in the github you have to download it from here or you can clone it if you know git commands you just need to uh, clone it otherwise you need to download the zip file right all right so i have uh, what i have done is uh, i have uh, downloaded the floating point after clicking over here right and you have to download the quantized model also okay just select quantized and there is an option of download over here you just need to download again okay so it will take some time okay and then uh, it will get downloaded in your local system so you can see over here that i have downloaded all these uh, files like converted hyphen tf light which is our floating model and other is converted hyphen tf light underscore quantized so it is my quantized model uh, which i have showed you you have to download it right and then other thing is uh, i have downloaded the tensorflow android application code right so i'll be providing this in my github profile also you can download it from there so you have to unzip all okay so you will be able to see that uh, there is a one label and then uh, unquant uh, tf light uh, model okay and the same goes for quantized also one label and uh, model dot tf light right all right so you need to copy uh, all four items over here okay and then you have to go inside your project which you have already downloaded from uh, tensorflow github profile or my profile okay my github profile then you have to go to inside uh, light then examples then image classification then android and now you have to go to app then src main and then assets and inside assets you have to paste all four files so you will be able to see over here that uh, these files um, are no of your use right you haven't seen all these files so ignore all these files just delete uh, if if you find something inside assets folder you just need to delete it so delete all and then copy and paste all these things uh, the tf model which you have downloaded uh, from here right like floating and quantized and uh, as soon as you downloaded all quantized or floating point models okay so you can see over here that i have downloaded the floating one so inside it you, you will be able to find two files one is labels and other is model actual model okay now you have to paste all four things over here but because label is duplicate so ultimately you have three files one is labels like me like banana lemon and tomatoes okay and two models which is model.tf light and unquant dot tf light okay so you will be able to see the highlighted three files in your asset folder okay just paste it and then what you have to do is you have to go to till examples examples and image classification and then android okay so you have to go to till android path okay of your code which you have downloaded from tensorflow and just copy and and then open android studio all right i have already opened that now you you will be able to see the, the android studio id like this right you just need to you have to press a open project okay you have to open a project then you have to give the location of android folder which is which you have downloaded uh, just now right 
and then you have to press ok ok so I have already done that it is already open uh, in my Android studio then you will be able to see the code like this so let it build uh, it will take some time uh, it will download some dependencies from the Android studio okay from Android depositories and then uh, let it download and it will complete okay it will take some time and it will uh, get complete mm -hmm. all right so in inside asset folder you have three files right now just ignore all the files okay just you have three files one is labels other is model.tf light and third one is model underscore uncon.tf light right you have to click on camera activity which is inside your uh, java and this uh, this package okay you have to go to camera activity and you will be able to see that the line number 101 over here okay so earlier it was quantized okay earlier it was quantized like this okay but you have to make it float efficient net okay replace uh, with this okay just copy paste this line into your code then you have to go to the uh, inside uh, tf light package and you will be able to see over here that uh, if you click on classifier float efficient net and just scroll down you will be able to see that get model method uh, get model path method is over here then you have to give the name of the tf light model which you have downloaded using floating point right so my floating point model name is model underscore unquant dot tf light so you just need to return that okay so just copy and paste this line also in your code then if you will go to the next classifier model uh, float mo mobile net then you have to give again uh, that same uh, same name now there is another quantized efficient model okay classifier quantized efficient file name then you have to give model.tf light over here okay always remember the name of the quantized model is model.tf light okay so always remember if you are able to see quantized in your class file then give the name of uh, name to it model.tf light and then quantized model.tf light and now you will be able to see that there is another label over here that get label path okay so always remember just make it labels.txt everywhere like label.txt inside the quantized model then uh, label.txt inside the classifier quantized efficient net model then uh, inside uh, this also uh, classifier float efficient uh, uh, java file right and then uh, this one also okay so always remember you have to make two changes for floating and label name okay so if your label name is different then change it to labels it has bananas, lemon and tomatoes which is, which are my classes or class name right and model.tf light and model underscore uncon right and now you are good to go you have to connect your android mobile phone and then you have to just run it over here right so just uh, you can press this particular link and then you will be able to see that uh, it is running like this right so you can see over here I have recorded the video but yeah you will be able to see that it will work for you okay so yeah uh, just uh, let me know in case of any queries uh, just comment down below in the description box if you like my video and subscribe my channel and it motivates me always to create new content for you guys thank you